Welcome to Techie Tuesday. Uh, this is the Sabre Techie Tuesday and uh, we're going to talk about some general things about setting your boat up for different conditions. Now, on some further Techie Tuesdays, we'll go into a lot of detail about each of these, but I just want to give you a bit of a broad understanding. Uh, typically, conditions are divided up into light wind, medium wind and strong wind. And in medium wind, you can have flat water or choppy water. So what, what do we do? In light wind, we generally sit forward in the boat, either one or two legs in front of the traveller or the thwart. We have a sail that is either flat or medium fullness, and we wouldn't have any boom vang on. So we generally have the sail pretty soft. In medium wind, we would sit back and have both legs behind the thwart or the traveller and we would be hard up against it. In flat water, you can generally be further forward. With its choppy water, you'd sit back a little bit. With flat water, your sail can be quite flat and you can get a lot of height with a flat low drag sail. Once the water becomes choppy, you need more twist, a deeper sail to punch through the chop. When it moves on to strong wind, there's quite a few things you need to do. You can sit back a little behind the thought, maybe about uh, 200 millimetres. You would have your centre board raked so that um, the front of the board is hard up against the case and the tip of the board is raked back under the boat. Uh, you would have your sail flat, as flat as you can get it. You'd use maximum Cunningham, maximum outhaul and maximum boom vang and that will set you up for strong wind. It's really important to work on your steering and your main sheeting in strong winds. And uh, yes, yeah, so also in strong winds, it's important to keep your boat flat. Now, some people have asked me about mast rake. Uh, my view on mast rake is you don't need to change it. You can use the same mast rake for all conditions. Those that do move their mast rake will typically have it forward in light winds, moving it back a little bit for medium and back further for strong winds. Remember in strong winds you've still got to get under the boom and you've got a lot of mast bend. So the mast's going to naturally rake itself back as you pull the, the boom vang on. Well, that was another Techie Tuesday. Stay tuned for the next one.